Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, like, subscribe, and share. So I'm making this painting for my aunt, who I love, my aunt Coco. And what I love about her is that her paintings, I'm sorry, in her house all she has is paintings of mine. And I think if you're going to decorate your home, it should always be with the original art, not with something that everybody else has. So once again, I'm in this craze of repurposing old paintings. And this behind here was a Picasso-inspired horse I did. I'll show you the image here so you can see what it used to look like. And this was an oil painting, and I'm doing acrylic, so I had to cover it with gesso. And I only did it certain parts because I am going to come back and bring oil in it. And it's going to be very geometric, somewhat abstracted. And yeah, I'm excited to see what it will eventually turn out like. And hopefully my aunt loves it. So this is what it looks like now. I've started to add ge geometric shapes. The tree is going to be very geometric, so is a bird. I'm going to incorporate yellows. It's going to have a lot of blues. Gray as well. So this is what it looks like so far. I've been just working and working, and I'm really loving the way it's coming out. I'm going to add mountains here. Incorporate more gray, keep these mountains from the previous one. All of this is staying, more blues. I'm very excited about the way it's looking. I really love it, so we'll see what happens. So this is what it looks like now. I'm really surprised at how fast I'm painting. I think I'm just really inspired by this piece. Uh, all this gray is oil, so I don't know if I put that on too soon because this takes longer to dry than acrylic. It probably takes days, so like I can't paint over a lot of this stuff because I'm going to make a mess. It's going to have more yellow here because I want it to be balanced. So <clears throat> this is day three and I just wanted to show you kind of like my painting situation. I don't cook though I can but I don't like to cook because I don't like to wash dishes and it's just for me. I think just cooking for yourself is pointless and depressing. So my kitchen is where I paint. I don't want to get the carpet dirty and um, yeah. So I was debating whether to incorporate more colors or not but since I have like a yellow area, I kind of want there to be like a blue area, gray area for the mountains, and this will be a, just a little mix of everything to do, pull it in. I'm going to add more to the branches. It still needs a lot of work. I don't like this right here, so I'll have to find a way to solve that. So I just took some pre-workout because I'm going to the gym, and I wait 30 minutes. I drink it. I already drank one, and I wait 30 minutes, so while I wait for this to kick in, and... I paint and then I'll come back, this will be dry. I hate going to the gym because if there's people there, then I can't do weights because I feel like dumb with the 15 dumbbells, the 15 pound dumbbells. So if there's people there, I will only do treadmill stuff and then I'll leave. But if there's no one there, then I'll do machines and weights. I don't know, I just feel like people watch you and it's true because I watch people too at the gym. I wish painting would work out my arms, but they don't. I have 12 year old arms. Since this is going to my aunt's house, she has a painting that I made of her with flowers and I, I'll probably put a picture here so you can see and I want it to not to be the same, but I want there to be a little bit of cohesiveness in her house with the artwork that she has. She also has a deer that's geometric, so I'll show you that as well. I want everything to make sense. I think when you collect art, there should be some type of like, not theme, but some like a general aspect that kind of makes all the pieces relate to each other, if that makes sense. Now see, this is oil and it's wet and I forgot and I just rubbed it all over the red. I feel like there's not enough red and I wanted this to be a red painting, so I'm probably going to let the red drip a lot on this side just to bring more red. So on top of this canvas, there's like magazine cutouts and there's just layers and layers of paint I kind of rip some off so when you touch this or even when you look at it there is a lot of texture and I think for me texture is very oh fucking shit I did it again there maybe I shouldn't be talking and painting because I am getting too distracted and I forgot what I was talking about I think it had to do with texture well I like paintings that have texture like when you go to a museum or any type of like art show I feel like you're always tempted to touch things and though you shouldn't until you buy it and own it so I make it to where like if you're tempted to touch it when you touch it you'll have like a nice textural experience tactile experience so I'm, I try to incorporate not just the visual sense you know now it's hard to get here so a little trick I do is just turn this now this makes it simpler to work on. So I have to look for the dry spots to rest my hand and not make a mess. So there's a lot more. I added a different tone of brown on the branches and the tree. I'm keeping this color 
in those spots. I just think it needs another coat. I need to clean up this brown, take a little of that yellow drip off. So I'm almost done with the acrylic painting. I need to go back in and fill in the this light brown because it's a little bit too translucent because it's just on coat one, so it needs more. And then after that, I'm going to the oils, which will be all of this side. The bird's done. It's about 70% done, I think. Ultimamente, estoy escuchando mucho Los Ángeles Azules mientras pinto. Y con mi vino tinto, se me afloja la mano más. Todavía más. Creo que mi, pe mi error en este proceso fue agregar el óleo porque pego la mano y la estoy súper cagando. So, I should have waited to do the oil at the end. <laughs> the paper here es porque se veía la luz súper plasmada, el re la reflexión y me molestaba. Yo de que lo tapé. One day I'll have my own studio and I won't have to paint in the kitchen. A little secret, I trace with the marker because you add layers of paint and you can still see the lines, so they're there. But sometimes it works against me because I want the line gone and it's not gone. I am painting this at a very accelerated pace, which means I must be really inspired because this is day three of adding. Like the previous painting took another like maybe a month. So there is a lot of work here, even though this precise add-on has been very fast. So I changed my mind. I was originally going to finish all the touch-ups, but I need this to be completely dry because otherwise I'm going to put my hand and make a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with the oil up here. Picasso, sus pinturas de su periodo azul, Picasso's blue period had a lot of blues but there was a lot of gray mixed into those blues to give that somber feeling and I think I added too much but I don't know my mission is that. Pintar no es difícil, es difícil encontrar el pincel adecuado para el tipo de trabajo que quieras hacer. I love this color. Que siente que no mala fama. If I were painting with acrylic, just having this brush out, it would dry and it would mess up because since it's oil, it's not going to dry anytime soon. So that's why I do like that about that. It's done! And I'm so excited about the final outcome. I think I, I achieved the ultimate goal in my head, which is to keep a lot of the previous painting, but kind of like revitalize it with this new concept of the cardinal and branch and with the background. There's a lot of things from the previous painting, but a lot of new stuff, and I think they work together, and that's why I love repurposing paintings, because it makes your job a whole lot easier. Had all the underpainting had not been done from the previous painting, this probably would have taken over a month. But the underpainting, the previous painting, did take over a month to create, so this facilitated the whole process. So I'm very, very happy. Uh, my aunt did not want to see the final product, but I said, hey, I need you to see it, because if you don't like it, this is the time for me to change it. So I sent it to her, minus this done, and then she liked it, that's all, I just gotta fix the fit, but I really love it, and I'm, I'm kind of glad I did this, because this is my return to oil painting that I hadn't done in possibly two years. So all of this is oil, 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 oil. Everything was acrylic, and then just uh, paint markers. So yeah, I, I love it. I wish you could touch it, because texture-wise, is very interesting there's a variety of textures so yeah tell me what you think so it always happens with paintings that i fall in love with they are the ones who spend the least amount of time with me because they're the ones that get taken away the soonest but yeah i like it i like it i like it tell me what you think coco i hope you love it i made it with a lot of love as much love as i love you you are one of my collectors and i love that your house is full of my paintings and Take a note from my aunt and buy art that is original, not from Hobby Lobby or from Walmart or from Home Interior. Does that still exist? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what you think. And watch all the content in my channel. Until next time, adios, bye.